Uh, I believe um, to Madam Clerk, the reason these were pulled and have they been corrected? Yes, we had uh, needed time to review the records as they were received um, today, and they have been reviewed and they have been completed and they're now ready for board action. Okay, to the CEO's office, any comment on item seven? Which one was item seven? I didn't bring my court. Um, court transfer. Yeah, it just took a while to get signatures from the courts, which you can imagine. So. Okay, um, bring this back to the board. What's the uh, action on the board or questions, concerns? Okay, there is a motion to approve the recommended action. Um, do I hear a second? Second. There is a second. Um, Supervisor Colfax, um, discussion to the recommended action. Hearing and seeing none, um, call for the vote. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Passes on a 5 to 0 vote. Um, item 10, which is um, approval of agreement with PMC for a total not to exceed 177000 to provide management services for the Mendocino County Planning Team for a term of June 1st, 2008 through May 31st, 2009. Please. Um, I'm here to answer questions, but I'll just give you a little bit of background. Basically, this is taking the chief planner position, uh, salary and benefits, and translating it into an, an hourly rate. And uh, it's for a year. We don't anticipate needing it for a year, and there there is a an ability to, you know, end the contract early if we actually are able to fill the chief planner position. So um, that, that's what this is about. And again, it uh, was just getting the signatures overnighted to us uh, from PMC. Okay, discussion at the board level? Hearing none, what's the action of the board? What is the action of the board at this level? Do I need to provide more <laughs> background? <laughs> this is basically the substitute for the chief planner position since we've been unable to fill it. We have continued to recruit for it, and uh, we do have, um, you know, some responses to our recruitment. So we'll we'll see how that pans out. But in the meantime, you know, Phil was wanting to move back into retirement. And so this is uh, bringing someone on who has a great deal of, of uh, a very extensive background in, in planning. And also uh, the view was that spe the specific projects that Audrey Knight would get involved in were the uh, developing the work plan for the local coastal plan and the Mendocino town plan. So those were areas where we felt her expertise would be particularly useful. Supervisor Pinches. We couldn't find a person to fill, fill this position, but yet we can contract out for $177,000, you'd think for, that's probably what, $130,000 job plus benefits or something, you'd think? Uh, no, it's, uh, I think I put the calculation in, in there. The part that's written is salary including benefits. And so I think the salary level's around 65000 70000 and then the benefits are on top of that. And uh, no, we haven't been able to, to fill that position. Further concerns, questions of Ms. Glassy or the CEO? Um, Please. Thank you. Um, so, Ms. Glassy, when you talk about the chief planner, are you talking about the chief planner of the planning team? Yes. So yes. This, that's the position Mr. Gorney held. No, he no. was he was a contract contractor right. as well. Um, basically, this is the position that Pam Townsend held, and um, resigned to move to the city of Ukiah 
well over a year ago. Basically, it was 15 months ago. Since that time, we've done a couple of recruitments, have not been able to find someone to fill that position. And as I said earlier, Phil has been kind of on a three-month to three-month um, lease arrangement, if you will. And um, it's been great to have somebody of his, his uh, level of expertise and background. Uh, as we came up on the end of the time that he was willing to commit to the county, um, this other opportunity presented it to us. As I said, we are continuing to recruit for that position. Um, hopefully there is someone out there, but it does take someone who has background in, in advanced planning, which is not the same as current planning. And um, so again, we're lucky to have somebody who has that level of, of expertise. And again, the way we've put this together is it's simply what would otherwise be spent if the chief planner position was filled, translated into an hourly rate. And, um, and then uh, we did budget for a couple of projects that we had previously talked about um, needing some assistance on. But that's looking at it over a year's time. And uh, as I said, I don't believe that we will be under this contract for a whole year. But we wanted to be able to just get it through. So if we were, we didn't have to keep coming back and renewing it. So there's no, uh, there are no benefits associated with this position? No, they're incorporated into the hourly rate. So do you know what that hourly rate is? Uh, I don't have it in front of me. I could certainly look it up. But I think I said the annual salary level is around sixty sixty five thousand dollars and i think it's been previously said here that the um planning positions are you know throughout the department are more under market than some of the other positions in the county and it gets more pronounced as you move up into to management and director levels and um, that's part of what we're facing because we need someone with experience here. It's a management level position and it's not competitive uh, with other counties that we might be drawing people from. Well, it sounds like you've taken the, you created the hourly rate out of combining the chief planner salary plus the benefits at 131,000. Correct. So, okay. Yeah, so that's exactly what we did. So it's, it's not, the chief planner's already budgeted for, so it's not increased funding for that, we're just taking that as, as the baseline. So what are the, but then you said there are an additional 46,000 in individual planning team projects. What are those? Uh, specifically, we're looking at um, the planning for the local coastal plan update and the Mendocino town plan and being able to move those forward. As you may know, we have two other planners in the planning team right now and both are completely up to the top of their heads, um, dealing with general plan update, Yukai Valley area plan, and the housing element. And then we have a uh, planning technician one intern who is working on some data collection. And, and that's the sum total of the staffing when overall we had been assuming that there would be a chief planner manager full time as well as three planning level staff. And we're basically doing this with two planning level staff uh, paraprofessional or, or uh, intern level and uh, and then providing for the chief planner through contract so but how would the 